Alright guys, well, it is the opening day of Iowa's second season shotgun, and we're down here on a completely new place. Um, never stepped foot on this place, never even driven by it. I would have liked to get out here last weekend, which was the opening weekend of the gun season here in Iowa, and I'd, I would have liked to see if anyone's parked here and, and scout for human pressure, but I was a little busy last weekend and had to make sure the guns were sighted in, but I did go out, sight in the guns, and I shot about a three inch group at 100 yards, uh, dead center with this 12 gauge shotgun here. So I'm pretty confident and pretty happy with how it's shooting. I, I definitely take that every day uh, out of a slug gun. So happy with that, the gun's on, and uh, we're down here now. I was so excited this last night. It reminded me of when I was a little kid, I could hardly sleep. Um, just taking a couple weeks off of hunting has really made me miss it, and I'm ready to get back out there and start hunting again. So. A little nervous for how this sit's gonna go, like I said, because it, it is my first time in here. But um, I found a spot on the map that I've been wanting to check out since probably the middle of bow season. I just haven't had the right wind for it. So I'm excited to get down in there and see how this hunt goes. Just got set up in here. That went a lot more smoothly than a lot of these first time in hunts go. And it's looking pretty good. I have a pretty good feeling about it. <clears throat> the only reason I could think of that I would see good deer movement and possibly a good buck is if people were in here driving it uh, during the first shotgun season. So I have no control over that. I don't really know, but we just have to see what happens. This is an area that's really pretty hard access. Uh, it's even harder than I thought it would have been. lake bottom. There's uh, good ridges and hardwoods all the way around it that kind of border it. And it's super steep right by the access. So I'm hoping that cuts down a lot of the pressure from the public. Um, I do believe there's probably some pressure that comes in here from the private surrounding it. Because there's a lot of small parcels all the way around it. And that's the only thing I'm a little bit uh, nervous about as if they were in here pushing during the first shotgun season, but don't really know. Um, basically, the setup is just we're in this uh, bottom here that's really thick with the overgrown grass, and I'm set up <coughs> just sitting in a chair in this clump of grass. I don't think anyone's going to see me, especially especially not before I can get a chance at him with a gun. So not too worried about that. I'm just overlooking this uh, bottom here. Really good bedding all the way around me, and there's an awesome transition right out in front of me, especially for uh, north northerly wind. I'm really expecting some of the bucks to be better along that transition line, looking out into this field, and I'm hoping to see them move around, going to bed here this morning. There's some ag fields out to my east here, and uh, I guess that's where I expect most of the deer to come from. So my access is perfect. Anyway, pretty excited. We'll see what happens.
guys, it's almost nine. All I've seen is one Doe family group. I have heard several shots to the north of me here, maybe four or five hundred yards or more away. So not all that far there. Pretty loud shots, but I'm not quite sure where they're coming from. I don't think it's the public. <laughs> Didn't spark up any movement for me, but it did kind of sound like a drive because there are multiple shots in each series. So, not really sure. Um, I heard those shots right after I lost sight of those does. But I think the plan is, because I'm freezing, I need to start moving around. The plan is to try to cross this little creek out in front of me here. Try to get on this other side, and then I think I'm just going to work it all the way around. Um, down on the down one side of this bedding area, and kind of still hunt my way all the way down through this ridge this transition area and then uh, we'll see where we go from there but we'll the reach back I don't really know yet but you know, the plan is to start still hunting so I don't freeze to death Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this morning's hunt. I would say it's a pretty good hunt overall. I think I ended up running into that same family group of does again, because uh, I ran into another four deer that looked like the same ones, kind of where they were going, I guess. Um, and didn't run into any more deer. I ended up working my way uh, through that bedding area, and then I crossed the creek and came back on this uh, west side of the unit back to the truck. and. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the unit. It is just tore up, especially in the area that northeast side of the creek. It's just tore up in there, and a lot of buck sign, a lot of good deer sign. It looks pretty good in there. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't run into any more deer. So that definitely looks good. I didn't find any tree stands over there. I did find some on this west side of the creek where it's easier to access, um, but I kind of expected that, and I I know I can just go farther in and hopefully avoid some of the people, but. Didn't see anyone out here today, so uh, not really sure. I heard several sets of shots early, and then I heard another set at about 10 a.m. on the east side of the creek on some private land up there. So I'm guessing this has received quite a bit of pressure already these gun seasons, and I'm not sure if that's why there wasn't a lot of deer down in there where I thought they'd be or what, but um, I don't know if we'll be back in here hunting it the shotgun season or not. I might come back in here late season uh, after I think the pressure has gone down because I know I know that one spot looks good and I'm pretty uh, excited about it at least for next year in the least so don't really know what the plans are but I'm gonna go back for lunch and then uh, we'll be back out somewhere tonight hunting so see you then. The Orange Army is out to get them. Alright guys, just made it to the parking lot for the afternoon hunt, and I'm super excited to be down here. I am hereby naming this unit the Nightmare Unit, because its name is very fitting, because every time we've been down here hunting or scouting this unit, I've been on it a total of three times, twice turkey hunting, and once I try to get back in here into a secluded bean field to do some velvet filming, every single time it's been a complete nightmare from bugs on I mean just like an incredible amount of mosquitoes turkey hunting to where we decided it wasn't worth it even though there are a lot of turkeys in there and just super thick down in there um, it's basically just a giant marsh uh, you run into water all the time or at least you did this spring there's just waterways everywhere that are dead ends and it's super thick in there the grass is seven foot tall in a lot of places and it's just it's a nightmare uh, every time I've been in there which is exciting for shotgun season when you're trying to find places on public land where you don't think there's gonna be any pressure in there and I think if there's any place around where I can hunt that isn't receiving pressure it should be back in there so I'm excited to go back in there this will be my first time deer hunting it and 
hopefully I have a good plan in place. But the plan is to just uh, get ready, go across this little ag field here, and we're going to drop down into one of the waterways. And I'm hoping that it's dried up. From my experience on a marsh nearby, uh, just the marsh unit, hopefully it'll be like those waterways and it'll be dried up and I'll have a way to access deep into the marsh. And I'll follow that waterway all the way back in there. I think we're going to... I measured it out on Google Earth, it was about a mile and a quarter to where I want to set up. And I'm also hoping that that waterway is dry because whenever those waterways dry up, it creates uh, something grows up in there and the deer seem to f love it. They just devour it like a food plot or better. I mean, uh, that other marsh is just tore up with deer and there's a ton of them in there and they're all feeding down in those waterways. But I know that marsh gets a lot more pressure or I think it gets a lot more pressure than this area. I guess I don't have much experience down here, but I, I'm hoping that this area doesn't receive as much pressure. So anyway, I'm gonna go down in there and get down the waterway and go way back in there to where uh, there's a lot of willows and thick areas. It's gonna be about three or 400 yards from an ag field that's back in there, the one that I was trying to get to to film earlier this summer. And there's gonna be that waterway. So plenty of food, plenty of cover back in there. And I just hope it's not quite as much of a nightmare as this unit has been in the past. So anyway, I'm excited to get going and see how this sit goes. Well, we finally got set up. It's probably 3.45 already. So we probably only have about an hour and 15 minutes left to light. Unfortunately, I'm thinking that'll be the best hour and 45 minutes, hour and 15 minutes of the day. So it could happen, but the nightmare unit has not disappointed its name so far. Uh, I got in here and the waterways were dry, which made it a lot easier to access. Which is good and bad. I ended up running into a hunter. And they also don't have any food in the waterways. It's just kind of grass. It's really amazing to me how sometimes um, habitats that look so similar from the aerial photos can be different when you get when you get in them. So just something to keep in mind. But finally I got in here and changed plans a little bit. I was going to go uh, to my that would be my east, about uh, four, 450 yards, maybe 500 yards. It's set up where two of these sloughs kind of come in, and I'm, I was hoping that um, these deer would be coming out at me and going back to this ag field. It's a picked bean field out behind me. I'm hoping that they're coming out there to feed at night. So I was going in to do that, and I saw orange and it, I'm sure it was a hunter in a tree stand and he was actually set up pretty much right in the spot that I wanted to be at so couldn't go in there and I ended up just kind of backing out and then came to the west here there's a it's a pretty similar situation really just uh, a little bit farther away there could be deer doing the exact same thing and I just came in here and I hope for the best, but when it takes you that long to get set up and you run into a hunter, a lot of times it just, it's hard to feel optimistic about this set, but there should be deer close. Um, I don't, to my knowledge, I didn't bump anything, so it's just hard going into a new area and can't see all that well because I am on the ground, but like I said, I'm in this kind of willow patch here, and it's kind of two of these sloughs are they're about 30 yards apart, and they kind of run parallel down deeper into this marsh, and uh, it's great bedding all throughout it. So I'm hoping they just kind of work their way up here and come past me. I'm literally just sitting out in the open because that's where I can see the most right now. Um, but I'm sure I can pass for a grass clump at least long enough to get a shot. So not too worried about that. See what happens.
that's going to wrap it up for the opening day of second season shotgun. I thought I was going to get skunked tonight and not see a single deer, but several minutes ago I looked up and there were just a couple of them. Antlerless deer <coughs> working up pretty much exactly how I thought they would, but I was expecting to see a lot more and I was hoping to see one with big antlers. But anyway, that's going to do it for tonight.